say I, say I, say I to the vlog family, say I. <laughs> it's my favorite uncle. Where are you going? I'm going to Okay. Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, I'm doing this vlog a little bit different. I'm going to be giving you guys some more raw vlogs in terms of not that much editing is going to be done your girl is busy but i'm still trying to be consistent and from the thumbnail you can see that these are places to go in saint elizabeth or things to do in saint elizabeth jamaica and this is a family edition because i brought my family on a group trip down here to um down to St. Elizabeth, you know, a nice good day trip. So right here, what you're seeing right now, this is called Bordeaux. This is where you can go and get some awesome, authentic Jamaican fish and seafood, right? So we went, park up with everybody. We went across the road and we decided to get some food. The person I usually go to is Cooley Man. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hey, tell, me, tell me about the, the way you have, tell me how you have. Okay, right now we have steam ready right now. Yeah. So yes. I saw you properly steam the fish them. Yeah. All one one. You see that? No, no, no grease. One fish to a, to a, to a pasta. You have crackers in it? Yeah man, crackers, okra, pumpkin, carrots, kelly and the whole works. How much you want? 2,400. Right, so the reason I always stop at this particular guy when I come out here at the board is because he always has steamed fish and crackers and I love steamed fish with crackers and he always has conch when it's conch season, right? So for the most part down here at the border they sell um, escovitch fish with bami, oh some amazing bami, I'm going to show you guys it as well. But he tends to always do the, the steamed fish as well as the conch. And guys, this is fresh fish which is caught right here, as you can see right here, it is fresh, fresh fish. Anywho, I'm gonna let one of the other vendors tell you all about what she sells. She sells the fish. Yeah. The nice um, fried fish, and we have the escovitch sauce. Yeah. This is the escovitch sauce. Yeah. Really sumptuous. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys, so the copywriter beat me bad. That thing she has in the bucket, that's the escovitch sauce, that's the peppers, that's the onion, and the fish, and then that's the bami. So that's like a typical thing we eat. Fish with bami down here in Jamaica. Bam is really really good this is them frying it on wood fire while i was there she was showing me this they also wanted to show me this crocodile which was just in the backyard it, they spoke about it like it was a pet if you guys look where the arrow is you guys can see that's the top of a crocodile that's just casually sunbathing but you know at that point that was my cue to get my food and go meet about with the family no, 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 all right, so now so a belly full side note guys look how beautiful this lawn is Anywho now so a belly full, you know, we're back on our way and we made it now This is a piece of the family trust me guys my family is very large and we're here at YS Falls So things to note about YS Falls it's open from 9 30 a.m. To 3 p.m It's closed on Monday and every single public holiday So nobody take up on themselves so and I go do a group trip go down there on a public holiday They're not open. They have these group limits in terms of no more than 15 persons in a group Right, I really know why they also said no loud music, no football playing, and all of that. It's 25 USD for foreigners and it's 1800s for Jamaican. No, I kind of look a bit steep, but for locals, they charge 1800 per person. These are the buses when you get there, you have to go around, drive around on these little buses right here. How long is the ride? I come just sit down and then drive. All right, so I don't know if you guys were able to hear it clearly, but my cousin was asking how long is the ride, and you know, it was a little bit tired because we drive from Montego Bay to St. Elizabeth for two hours, and then we had another, you know, another ride again on the bus. But this is a ride that comes around to the main area, it's not more than four or five minutes, you know, and you know, we made it. Yeah, and then you know everybody up off and everything make sure you grab all of your belongings Don't leave anything on the little bus, right? And then you find a little area because they have a lot of places where you can sit with the family A lot of picnic tables and all of that. Anywho, this is the falls guys. This is YS Falls. This is the main attraction 
it's a seven tier natural waterfall you know very very beautiful anywho let me introduce you guys to the rest of my family everybody say hi auntie yes you're on the camera oh you better put my glasses on So my cousin was saying he wanted to go and try the rope again now as you can see there's two ropes you see this one right here now if you don't hold on properly or jump off you end up like how my cousin end up i've done this rope before i've gotten it right once and then another time i land bad so depending on my mood i might go up there but I just want you guys to know that you have to hold on a particular in a different way right now gathering everybody to take a group picture a family picture also guys follow me over on instagram right follow me on tiktok not as active over there but you can follow me over there as well like share comment subscribe to this video turn on post notification i've seen you guys commenting below saying you haven't been seeing a lot of my adventure vlogs and trust me they're coming i'm just i just you know your girl just needs some time to edit everything now also what i want to mention is that the water out here is 12 to 16 feet deep so if it is that you can't swim you can't be swinging off of any of those ropes and you can't be doing like what i'm doing swimming down out here going underneath this cave that is right here now the water is beautiful the water is really nice the falls itself is just everything like the entire place is really and truly very beautiful and if it is that you're coming to jamaica you want to plan a family trip to come to down this side then reach out to me i'll leave my email in the description below because you know i have a tour company and i offer tours as well
I decided to bring my family to Pelican Bar. Now Pelican Bar is a bar that is in the middle of the sea, right? And right here obviously is where we park. Now guys, if you're gonna go to Pelican Bar, you guys have to leave Floyd. Floyd is the owner for Pelican Bar and you know, it's Pelican Bar is what, 33 minutes away from Wyas Falls, which is where we're coming from. And if it is that you like to go there once you have to link him so that you can get the official boatman to go out to the pelican bar that is right there right so this is everybody everybody was just wondering how we're gonna get out there today i'm bringing them out to pelican bar i can't believe you can't have my family and them never go these places now i have to carry them i never been to the bar they didn't even know that the bar was in the middle of the ocean the middle of the sea yeah so that's where we're going guys and this is the family making their way across again guys like share turn on post notification follow me over on instagram follow me over on you on tiktok <laughs> anywho so everybody's coming across the boats are here and yeah so we'll load up the boat them everybody will load up the boat i won't lie to you guys my aunt they were super super nervous about the entire boat ride and everything and you know i was just like listen there's no need to worry these men they do it almost every day down here that's what these men do they're fishermen and this is what they do but come on let me talk too soon because as soon as my open my mouth and start telling them not to worry here goes the boat rocking mercy you know what bob molly said please don't rock my boat this boat was rocking but no need to worry it's just like the boat was on the side and it kind of slip off so you know no need to worry everybody was good you know what you see all the kids and everybody will load up in the boat the entire family are not leaving anybody behind you know we're not leaving anybody behind load up the entire boat not just this boat alone but of course there was another boat because as you can see the family large and you know everybody good and we've started to make our way over towards pelican bar right so this is us even my aunt would look a bit nervous start laughing and everything again you know she get a little life jacket yeah so she did feel more comfortable and this is it so it's the bar that is furthest to the left and the reason why i'm saying that is because you might go out there and when you look out in the distance there's another one but this is the original one there you go floyd pelican bar and we made it right in one piece wow. can't live at jamaica and don't enjoy jamaica wow. huh? i don't know if it's jamaica this but i'm here i am here last time i think oh there was jamaica but no i'm here <laughs> 
Right, so some of you might be wondering who came up with this idea. This is the man right here. This is Floyd. He's a fisherman. He, you know, he said he lived out here for two years and there was another guy who had a boat who would take tourists from Jake's Treasure Beach to the Crocodile area. And, you know, they would always take the route where he is and they would just stop, listen to music and he would cook. And, you know, we'd offer them food because Jamaicans are just so very kind. And it started from right there. I wanted you to hear his words, but between the music in the background, plus the win i just did the voiceover anywho let me show you the rest of the place so there's a domino area there's also a kitchen where you can order food right there's this little deck or patio area you know where you just sit out and relax you know and of course there's also going to be a little craft station so as always guys support the locals support the locals if you do a little souvenir shopping that's good you know have a look at tea right here see how they food they sit and eat and that up the top right there that's the bathroom and guys he has solar panels so there's electricity right throughout and probably wondering where the bar actually is a little fridge area you know you have a little drink my go-to is a little um red stripe flavored beers with a lemon or sorrel or whatever the case might be that's my go-to and whenever anybody comes out here they always leave something behind so it, as you can see there's a whole stack of lice plates there are flags there's whatever it is that you have we actually my aunt left a, a mask behind right and also what you'll notice while you're there is that they have carvings if you want to carve your name to show that you are there then you guys can get that done as well all right so while i was trying to get everything you know my cousin my baby cousin they think the gopro is a toy you know but she was the director this time and that's okay i am nurturing her skills and my aunt this is one of my favorite aunts and you know, one of my favorite aunts right there yeah <laughs> you know we chilled we drank we danced we laughed we took some pictures we have an all around good time and before you know it you know the sun was setting which means it was time for us to go but don't worry not he has light out there so you know but it was time for us to go because i took go back to my bay it's a long drive also guys i know i mentioned that it's a thousand dollars for the boat ride and that is to and fro so it's a thousand dollars round trip it's not a thousand dollar one way and then another thousand dollar all right so it's a thousand dollar round trip and this is the, all the places that we went but because i'm giving you guys some brata as well which is the appleton rum estate now people always reach out to me and say they want to do a rum tour well the real authentic rum tour is located in siloa saint elizabeth right now when you enter the place is so beautiful very very clean and you know you do a tour you, you start with a little movie and educate you and then afterwards they introduce you and they show you this donkey right here and the reason we're looking at the donkey for those who don't know jamaican rum is made from sugar cane and how they would extract the juice back in the day like the 16th century is that they would put the cane in the donkey would run around and would get the juice now i'm no donkey guys but as an interactive session that they have they ask persons from the crowd to operate the mill and let me tell you something i think i am somewhat fit you know but you see when i go to the gym i don't do upper body that much and mostly do legs but you know initially when we started out and we're going around and around and we're pushing you see some resistance right there put it listen it is it was putting up a resistance just like berries a man may i tell you no. but you know we go around and around and we extract the juice now using this method and you extract the sugarcane juice roughly 65 percent of it is what they said is extracted as opposed to the mechanical method that they use currently now which which extracts roughly 90%. You know, see how we have a struggle. But may I tell you, even a man here is very brave because him just holding him in underneath the thing. But like I said, guys, freshly pressed sugar cane juice. And this is a nice interactive session that they have out there, right? Now, after that, they brought us over to where? And when them get the juice and them boil it down and do everything, we get molasses. Some people don't like molasses. And this actually was my very first time trying this. I'm telling you guys, I keep on telling us that I have content on top of content. You know, this was from June 2022, you know. And so I just I get for sure you guys all will take place. But anyways, I really liked it. You know, it wasn't bad. Some people don't like molasses. But you know, everybody tastes buds different. But I really liked it. But after all of this, they further went and told us about how they got the rum. Into alcohol that I didn't use. 
we use mm. the molasses to make the rum. However, the molasses is too thick and sweet. So we use water from our spring that is located here on the estate to dilute the molasses. <laughs> All right, the fermented liquid consists of 7% alcohol, the water, the molasses, and the yeast. And we store it in that large tank behind you, which is called a wash reservoir. The fermented liquid will sit there for 36 to 48 hours. After that, it will be pumped inside the distillery for the next process, which is distillation. And distillation is just separating that 7% alcohol from the fermented liquid. During distillation, we use two methods. We use the pot still and the column still. So here we have a mini version of the pot still. When you get on the inside, you will see five larger versions. The column still has recently been removed to a nearby facility. We are doing some maintenance on the inside, so you won't see that one today. All right. The pot still is made from 100% copper. It is a batch by batch process, and it is the traditional way of making rum. It takes five to six hours to be completed, gives off full body and flavorful rum, and that rum comes off at 86%. With the column steel, it is made from 100% stainless steel. It is a continuous process. So unlike the pot steel where every five to six hours you have to take off that batch of rum and start the process all over again, with the column steel it goes on and on. And that gives off light style and flavorful rum. And that rum comes off at 96%. Mm -mm. Alright, so the fermented liquid would be pumped into the base of the kettle. Heat would, be apply, heat would be applied to it so that 7% alcohol that already existed, it would vaporize, enriches, gives off 30% alcoholic vapors. Those vapors travel through the swan neck into the first retort, which is called low wine. It then vaporizes, enriches again, gives off 75% alcoholic vapors, and we call that high wine. So basically, it's the same process repeating itself, vaporizes, enriches, and then we get 86% alcoholic vapors. Those vapors travel to the condenser here where it cools and gives off 86% rum. So we started at 7% and then at 86. And with the column still, it takes the shape of this condenser here. So the higher the vapor, the higher the percentage of rum. And every Appleton rum, it is a combination of both pot still and column still. So when you combine that 86, and the 96, you will get 182 proof rum. That is extremely strong. It is illegal to sell. Right. So I'm 100% sure you guys must have learned something about the rum making from just that small clip right there. But you know these are the barrels that have all of the different rum they spoke to us about the aging process and all of that afterwards you know we're going with the rum tasting they tell us how to taste it how you talk about the legs of the rum and you smell it and all of that and um once you pay to do the tour it also includes food i believe it includes food i don't think food is at an additional cost i didn't even get the chance to video the cafeteria where the food is and you know that was pretty much the entire tour now other things to do in saint elizabeth include the jamaica zoo right there is the um, black river safari where you guys can go out and see the crocodiles and all of that there's also this new spot where you can do atv i can't remember the name of it you can do atv down there if you guys know where i'm talking just comment below and guys this is pretty much the end of my vlog i hope you guys liked it i hope it's useful if it is that you want to book a tour local or foreigner reach out to me my email will be in the description below my website is also up it's probably best if you guys just fill out the booking form over on the website as always like share subscribe and turn on post notifications i have a lot of content and i'm coming with all of that content right follow me on instagram and tiktok and if you've made it this far, again, a special thank you to you. And I'll see you guys at the next vlog. Alright guys, I'm out. <laughs>